You know that moment when you're rushing through your day and suddenly realize you've been holding your breath for who knows how long. Or when you catch yourself gripping your phone like it might escape, your whole body wound up like a spring. Your heart is beating faster than it needs to, and you can't quite remember the last time you felt genuinely relaxed. Now imagine having a secret switch you could flip that would instantly tell your body, hey, we're actually safe here. You can relax now. That switch exists, and it's called your vagus nerve. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to activate it in just minutes a day, using techniques so simple you can do them anywhere, anytime. And here's the beautiful part. The more you practice these, the faster your body learns to find its calm, even in the middle of chaos. Think of your vagus nerve as your body's built-in relaxation superhighway. It's the longest nerve in your body, running from your brain all the way down to your heart, lungs, and gut. When this nerve is working well, it's like having a wise, calming voice that whispers to your organs, everything's okay. You can slow down now. Here's what happens when your vagus nerve kicks into action. Your heart rate drops into a steady, peaceful rhythm. Your breathing becomes deeper and easier. Your digestion improves because your stomach isn't tied up in knots. Your whole system shifts from fight or flight mode into what scientists call rest and recover mode. But here's where it gets really interesting. Some people have what we call high vagal tone, which means their vagus nerve is like a well-tuned instrument. When stress hits, they bounce back faster. They're more resilient. Their nervous system is flexible, like a tree that bends with the wind instead of breaking. The amazing news? You can train your vagus nerve just like you'd train any other part of your body. You don't need expensive equipment or hours of meditation. You just need to give your nervous system gentle, consistent reminders throughout the day that it's safe to relax. Most people think they need to do hour-long meditation sessions or intense breathing exercises to see results. But your nervous system actually responds better to small, frequent signals scattered throughout your day. It's like training a puppy. You don't do one massive training session and expect perfection. You give little reminders, little moments of practice, and over time, the new behavior becomes automatic. Your vagus nerve loves this approach. A two-minute breathing exercise here, a quick ear massage there, a splash of cool water on your face. These tiny interventions add up to create massive shifts in how your body handles stress. You're essentially teaching your nervous system a new default setting, calm and centered instead of tense and reactive. What makes these techniques so effective is that they work with your body's natural systems instead of fighting against them. Your nervous system is constantly scanning for signs of safety or danger. When you breathe in that smooth, rhythmic pattern, splash cool water on your face, or massage your ears, you're speaking your nervous system's language. You're not trying to force relaxation or push away stress. You're simply giving your body clear, consistent evidence that it's safe to let go. And the more you practice these techniques, the more sensitive your vagus nerve becomes to these signals. It starts responding faster and more effectively. Think of it like training your body to remember what peace feels like. Each time you practice these techniques, you're creating a stronger pathway to calm. You're building resilience, not just managing stress. You're teaching your body that no matter what's happening around you, you have the tools to find your center again. Let's start with the most powerful tool in your vagus nerve toolkit, resonant breathing. This isn't complicated breathing with counts you need to memorize or techniques that make you feel dizzy. This is simple, natural breathing that creates harmony between your heart and your breath. Here's how to do it. Breathe in through your nose for about five seconds, then breathe out through your nose for about five seconds. Keep your lips gently closed. Let your shoulders stay relaxed. And don't worry about making the breath extra deep or extra long. Just smooth and steady, like gentle waves. What's happening inside your body during this breathing is fascinating. Your heart rate naturally speeds up a little when you breathe in and slows down when you breathe out. When you breathe at this five second rhythm, you create this beautiful dance between your heart and your lungs that sends a clear signal to your vagus nerve. We're safe. We can relax. Start with just three to five minutes of this breathing. You can do it while you're waiting for your coffee to brew, sitting in your car before you go into work, or right before you fall asleep. The key is consistency, not perfection. Even two minutes counts. Your nervous system is paying attention to these signals, learning that calm is possible, even in the middle of a busy day. Here's a technique that sounds almost too simple to work, but it taps into something incredible called the mammalian dive response. When mammals dive into cold water, their heart rate automatically slows down to conserve oxygen. Your body has the same reflex and you can use it to quickly activate your vagus nerve. All you need to do is splash cool water on your face, focusing on the area around your cheeks and eyes. Not ice cold, not freezing, just pleasantly cool. You can also use a cool, damp cloth and hold it over your upper cheeks and the bridge of your nose for about 15 to 30 seconds. Make sure you can breathe normally while you're doing this. 
The goal isn't to shock your system, it's to give it a gentle nudge toward relaxation. You'll often notice your heart rate slowing down within seconds. It's like having a reset button for your nervous system. You can do this technique once or twice when you're feeling wound up, or just as a regular part of your day. Some people splash cool water on their face every morning as part of their routine, or keep a cool cloth by their desk for stressful moments. Your vagus nerve responds immediately to the signal, remembering that it's safe to slow down. Your ears might seem like an unlikely place to calm your nervous system, but they're actually packed with nerve pathways that connect directly to your vagus nerve. Plus, most of us carry tension in our jaw and neck without even realizing it, and releasing that tension sends powerful relaxation signals throughout your body. Start with your ears. Using small, gentle circles massage the outer part of your ear, including the curved rim at the top, the little bump in front of your ear canal, and the soft area just below. Spend about 30 to 60 seconds on each ear. It should feel good, not painful. You're giving your nervous system a gentle massage from the inside out. Next, let's release that jaw tension. Rest your tongue gently on the roof of your mouth, and let your back teeth separate slightly. Most of us clench our jaw without realizing it, especially when we're concentrating or stressed. Now, with your jaw relaxed, make slow, gentle circles, as if you're drawing invisible circles with your chin. Keep it pain-free and easy. This combination, ear massage followed by jaw release, is like giving your vagus nerve a double signal. We're not in danger. We can let our guard down. You can do this anywhere, anytime you notice tension creeping in. Some people do it during commercial breaks, while waiting in line, or right before important meetings. While these three techniques are incredibly powerful on their own, there are simple ways to support your progress that don't require any extra time or effort. Think of these as the fertile soil that helps your vagus nerve training grow stronger. Movement is one of the best supporters of vagal tone. You don't need intense workouts or complicated exercise routines. A 20 to 30 minute walk most days, some easy cycling, or any activity that gets your heart beating a bit faster will support your nervous system's ability to be flexible and resilient. Your sleep patterns also play a huge role. Going to bed and waking up at roughly the same time helps your nervous system find its natural rhythm. Your body loves predictability when it comes to sleep, and consistent sleep supports everything else you're doing to strengthen your vagus nerve. What you eat matters too, but not in a complicated way. Foods rich in omega-3s, like salmon or walnuts, support nerve health. Foods high in fiber and fermented foods like yogurt or sauerkraut support the connection between your gut and your brain, which is a major pathway for vagal nerve communication. The key is consistency, not perfection. And here's a simple trick that can amplify everything else you're doing. Micro pauses. Every few hours, take 60 to 90 seconds to either do your resonant breathing or give yourself a quick ear massage. These tiny breaks remind your nervous system that it's safe to relax, even during busy days. The magic happens when you weave these techniques into your regular day instead of waiting for moments when you're already overwhelmed. Think of them as preventive medicine for your nervous system. You're not just putting out fires, you're preventing them from starting in the first place. Here's what a day might look like. You wake up and do three minutes of resonant breathing before you check your phone. Mid-morning, when you feel your energy shifting, you take 60 seconds to massage your ears. After lunch, when your body naturally wants to rest, you splash cool water on your face or do some gentle jaw circles. The goal isn't to follow a rigid schedule. The goal is to sprinkle these moments of nervous system care throughout your day like little gifts to yourself. Maybe you do the breathing while your coffee brews. Maybe you massage your ears while you're stuck in traffic. Maybe you release your jaw tension while you're watching TV in the evening. Your nervous system loves consistency, but it also loves variety. Some days you might focus more on breathing. Other days you might use the cool water technique more often. Pay attention to what feels good and what your body responds to. You're not following someone else's plan, you're creating a personalized toolkit for your own nervous system. When you start practicing these techniques, changes often happen in waves. Some people feel their breathing naturally deepen after just one session. Others notice they sleep through the night for the first time in months after a week of consistent practice. The shift might show up as catching yourself mid-tension and actually being able to let it go instead of carrying it around all day, or realizing that your usual afternoon energy crash has mysteriously disappeared. Maybe it's the way difficult conversations don't leave you rattled for hours like they used to. What you're building isn't just a collection of relaxation techniques. You're developing what I like to call nervous system intelligence. Your body starts recognizing the early signs of stress and responds with the tools you've been practicing, almost without you having to think about it. Your vagus nerve is waiting for you to activate it. It's been there all along, ready to help you find calm in the middle of chaos, ready to help you bounce back faster from whatever life throws your way. All it needs is your attention and these simple, gentle signals that remind your body 
it's safe to relax. Start today. Pick one technique that feels most appealing to you. Maybe it's the three minutes of resonant breathing. Maybe it's the cool water on your face. Or maybe it's the ear massage. Don't try to do everything at once. Pick one, practice it for a few days, and notice how your body responds. I'm genuinely curious about which technique resonates with you most. As you're watching this, you probably already have an intuitive sense of which one your body wants to try first. Trust that instinct. Drop breathing, cool water, or ear massage in the comments, and let me know which one is calling to you. Your nervous system is incredibly adaptable. Every time you practice these techniques, you're creating new pathways to calm. You're teaching your body a new way of being in the world. The beautiful thing is, the more you practice, the more natural it becomes. These aren't just techniques to use when you're stressed. They're daily practices that build your capacity to stay centered no matter what's happening around you. Your future self will thank you for starting today.